came back with uh, renewed enthusiasm. Uh, the pre-Christmas training, they'd set really great standards. Uh, they tackled all the challenges that were thrown at them. Um, and it's, you know, it's been a, a, a real footy sort of content um, training uh, under uh, pressure. So, you know, as I said, they enjoyed their break, but they came back and uh, the testing that we did yesterday were very, uh, very pleasing results. Well, the, the good thing is from probably our oldest player down to our youngest player, they've all shown um, excellent sort of standards. Um, Chris Judd, before he went on his overseas trip, was probably burning the track up like he was a 20-year-old. Um, but then you have someone like Paddy Cripps who, after one year, came back, um, you know, he dropped a bit of weight, he got fitter. Um, and so right across the board, as I said, you know, we, we had uh, all players that uh, showed uh, that 2014 was disappointing and they wanted to make sure that 2015 was going to be much, much better. Yeah, we've got to be smart. They've come back off that two-week break, so it's not sort of jumping straight into the uh, deep end. We've got to, you know, sort of slowly build them up. But, um, you know, within a week or so, we'll be back to, you know, high-intense training. Uh, we've got our football camp in Buller uh, into January, so um, you know we'll, we'll build up to that because we're only probably five or so weeks away from a game, um, so it's, it's a matter of you know sort of getting the players ready for that. But every indication is that uh, the group is in, in very good condition um, when we compare to the amount of operations uh, and modified training we had the year before. So you know, to all those Carlton members and supporters, uh, I think there's um, some real good stuff uh, in the near future.